What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel! Para sa mga hindi pa nakilala sa akin, ako po si Alec, isang simpleng mamay ng bansang Pilipinas! Kung bago lang kayo sa channel ko, please do not forget to subscribe to my channel. I'll let this official tick on the notification bell para lagi kayong updated pag may mga bagong videos tayo na i-upload. And for today's video, pag-uusapan natin ngayon ang nalalapit na civil service examination. Excited na ba kayo? Same here! So what are you waiting for? Let's get this party started! So, as promised, pag-uusapan natin ngayon ang nalalapit na civil service examination. Sa video na to, malalaman nyo kung anong dapat nyong malaman pag nag-take ka ng exams. I really hope you find this video helpful. Stay tuned! So, first question is, what is this for? Bakit ka nga ba nagtatake ng civil service exam? Para sa mga kababayan natin na gustong makapagtrabaho sa government, ang civil service eligibility ang isa sa mga bagay na hinihingi nila para magkaroon ka ng posisyon sa mga government offices. Anong difference ng sub-professional at professional eligibilities? Basically, ang magiging difference niyan is kung anong posisyon ang pwede mong makuha and of course, kung magkano ang magiging sahod mo. So, kung nag-take ka ng sub-pro at napasa mo yon, magkakaroon ka na na first level eligibility, wherein ang salary grade mo is from grade 6 to 10. Ngayon, kung professional naman ang tinake mo and naipasa mo yon, magkakaroon ka ng second level eligibility wherein yung salary grade mo is 10 and up. Now, pagdating naman sa exams, pag sub-pro ang kinuha mo, total items is 165. Kailangan mo siyang tapusin sa loob ng 2 hours and 40 minutes. Pag professional naman, 170 ang total items and kailangan mo siyang tapusin sa loob ng 3 hours and 10 minutes. Basically, 5 items lang ang difference nila sa isa't isa and 30 minutes lang ang difference nila. So guys, kung sa tingin nyo, kaya nyo naman ang professional level ng exam, go for it kasi both exams cost 500 pesos. Ngayon, sino-sino ang mga pwedeng mag-take ng exams? You could pause this video so that you could check the detailed qualifications. Pero basically, at least 18 years old ka, Filipino, wala kang kaso at wala kang nilalabag na kahit anong batas, then, if ever nag-fail ka sa previous exam, sinusunod mo yung 3 months prohibition period wherein hindi ka magtetake ng same level of exam within the last 3 months. And by the way, please take note na hindi mo kailangan maging college graduate para makapag-take ka ng professional or sub-professional level ng exams. Kung sa tingin nyo, pasado kayo sa mga qualifications, Go for it. Now, ano-ano naman yung mga requirements para sa application? First is, complete the application form, which is available sa website nila or sa any regional offices. Then, kailangan nyo rin ng four pieces na passport size picture. It should be taken within three months prior to the examination date. White background, my name and signature sa baba nito. Just a quick tip, Nire-recommend ng mga regional offices na magpa-picture kayo sa any Fujifilm branches kasi alam na nila yun. Sabihin nyo lang na kailangan nyo ng passport size na picture for civil service exams. Doon din kami nagpakuha actually. Also, bring a copy of the original and a photocopy of the acceptable IDs, certification of consent, 
and the 500 peso examination fee. Also, wag niyong kalimutan yung VAX cards niyo. Kailangan nila yung original and photocopy nun. Now, to check what are the acceptable IDs, please pause the video. By the way, they are also accepting fill ID or the national ID. Next question is where you can send or submit your application. Actually, pwede kayong makapag-submit sa any Civil Service Commission Regional Field Offices. Makikita nyo yung complete list non sa website nila. Just go to www.csc.gov.ph Ang sa amin is nagpasa kami ng application sa BIR sa May Agham Road sa Room 201. And guys... Napakabilis ng pag-process nila as in 30 minutes lang namin sinend yung application tapos na 8 o'clock kami-kami lang yung tao doon so ayun very hassle free at napakabait ng mga nag-assist sa amin doon ng mga government employees now for this batch, the application period will start on April 12, 2022. Yes, that's this coming Tuesday na. And it will be until the 28th of April, which is 16 days. So meron kayong 16 days para mag-submit ng application and requirements new to any CSC field offices. And then after that, meron kayong 51 days na mag-review bago ang examination which will be held on the 19th of June 2022 and that would be on a Sunday so may time pa kayong pumunta muna ng church bago magtake ng exams kumuha kayo ng lakas ng loob and power ni God what is the scope of the examination? So guys, ito na yung mga lalabas sa exams. To check for the detailed information, please pause this video. Pag professional level ang itatake nyo, you will answer 170 items na kailangan nyo tapusin sa loob ng 3 hours and 10 minutes. Pag sub-professional level naman, you will answer 165 items to be finished within 2 hours and 40 minutes. At eto na nga ang susunod nating katanungan. Saan nyo mahukuha ang mga reviewers? Guys, I just wanted to clarify na ang civil service is walang ina-announce na any review centers. Pero ang mga reviewers nila is available online. Pwede rin siyang mga apps. Or, I still have a copy of my reviewer, pero that's way back 2019. But if you were still interested, please just comment down below so that I could send it to you. Pag-usapan naman natin ang examination venue. Paano nyo nga ba malalaman kung saang school kayo mag -e exam well guys, a week before the examination, that would be on the 12th of June, please visit their website and look for ONSA which is the online notice of school assignment. Ilalagay nyo lang yung details nyo doon, then lalabas na kung saang school kayo naka-assign. It's best na mapuntahan nyo muna siya prior sa examination date para alam nyo na yung ruta nyo, alam nyo na kung ano mga sasakyan nyo para hindi kayo malate. Kasi guys, once na late na kayo, kahit one minute, kahit kumpleto kayo sa requirements at nakapag-review kayo at kahit pa nakapag kayo, hindi kayo tatanggapin. Now, if nagkaka-error kayo sa website nila, hindi nyo mahanap yung school nyo, you could just call or visit the regional office kung saan kayo nag-submit ng application. On the examination day, please do not forget to bring the following. It's best if you could be there as early as 6.30 in the morning. Please wear proper attire and do not forget to bring your face masks. Also, ang grade na kailangan yung ma-achieve is 80% up. Hindi siya nire-round off, so hindi siya 79.9099, hindi ganon. It should be 80 flat percent and up. The results will be announced 60 days after the examination date. You just have to go to their website to see the list of passers. Ngayon, if gusto nyo namang makita yung ratings nyo, hanapin nyo lang yung aux surges. 
enter nyo yung details nyo together with the examination details. And ganitong ganito yung lalabas. This is my personal copy from the exam that I took last March 2019. Tinakpan ko na yung mga dapat takpan, pero may kita mo dyan yung name, your address, saang school ka nag-take ng exams, anong klaseng exam, examination date, yung overall rating mo, pati na rin yung ratings mo per subject. Also, not to brag but to inspire, isa kami sa 10.71% na nakapasa sa batch na yon. So, kung makikita nyo, grabe, 238,966 yung nag-exam sa professional level. Tapos, 25,600 plus lang yung nakapasa. As in, sobrang tindi. Ngayon, kung sa kabutihang palad, isa ka sa mga nakapasa sa exams, may kita mo sa website nila kung paano at kailan mo pwede makuha yung certification mo. Ngayon, kung sa kasamaang palad, hindi mo na ipasa yung exams. Of course, pwede kang mag-retake. Walang limit ang pag retake Pero, meron tayong tinatawag na 3-month prohibition period wherein hindi mo pwedeng itake ang same level ng exam 3 months after the recent exam na naibagsak mo. If you would like to know more about the civil service examination, please follow Government PH's Facebook page and you may always visit Civil Service Commission's website. That would be www.csc.gov.ph to know more about it. And that wraps up our video for today. Hindi ko actually inexpect na ganun pala kahaba ang video. Please know na may part 2 pa. I will give you some tips on how to pass the civil service exam. Please abangan yung video ko na yan. And uh, I really hope you find this video helpful. Then again, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe to my channel, Electish Official, tick on the notification bell para lagi kang updated pag may mga bagong videos tayo na upload And guys, thank you so much for always watching and supporting my videos. You take care and God bless!